Okay, apologies for the last live stream. We had a sound issue, so I've had to restart in this stream. So if you were on the last one, this is back again, and we're going to have to redraw that one. Hi! I don't know what happened there. I'm so sorry. YouTube, this, honestly, these past two weeks have been a nightmare. Okay, so I let everyone come over to this one. Sorry, everyone, I'm going to have to redo that one. Yeah, I'm back. So sorry. Yeah, YouTube are having a lot of problems with live streaming over the past week or two, haven't they? Hi everyone, welcome back. Is my sound okay? My sound okay? Don't know what happened there. Hi everyone. <laughs> so let everyone join us again. Um, and then I'll have to redraw. <laughs> Thank you. Hiya. <laughs> okay. Right. Sorry about that. So think about your number that you just put in. <laughs> So give it a minute. I don't know what happened there. Okay, okay. So we'll get it, get the numbers back up to what we were. Hi, Elizabeth. Sorry, I didn't say it. I didn't see you earlier. Yeah. So on this second one, you have to re-enter, but only when I press start. I'm just letting everyone come on over. If anyone's on the last live stream or is still there, um, I hope it came through. I did say that I was going to open a new one up. Um, so the second one is going to have to be redrawn because I didn't see because the sound went, if that's okay. So think of your numbers and I'll redraw the second one. Okay, Natalie, it's just think of a number of one to a hundred. Um, thanks, Lou. And then I'm going to redraw this one. I didn't draw the second Oh, I didn't draw the second one. I didn't draw it, so don't worry about it. It wasn't. It wasn't drawn. Hi, Nella Bella. Yeah, everyone except Charlotte. Yep, yeah. <laughs> Charlotte knows. <laughs> she knows. She's got that one. It's fine. Hi, Shannon. Yeah, I'm gonna press. They can enter. Yeah, of course they can. Everyone that entered the first time can enter the second time. It's just the winner that can't, that's all. So I'm just leaving it a couple of minutes so that we've got people here that wanted to enter. Hi, Natalie. Not yet, Bridget. Not yet. When I press start or go, when I press go, I will type in go, but I'm just waiting for everyone that was on the last stream to come on over. So when I say go, you enter your number. It is the person that is closest to first um, without going over. <laughs> That's okay. Don't be sorry. Don't be sorry. Um, yeah, I know. That's what I'm thinking. I didn't want anyone to miss out. Okay. So that mucked it up on the giveaway. It's just, it's just typical. YouTube is just typical. What is wrong with YouTube these days? I swear live streaming has become a little bit of a nightmare with uh, YouTube and streamers. I know Dee Dee had to restart hers yesterday as well, as Sam went. A um, few of us have had really bad problems with that, but hey ho. Okay, so have we got people in? Shall I give it another couple of minutes? Yeah, I was thinking maybe wait because. Hi, it's Ionia. What I'll do then, I'll wait, in the, I'll wait for a bit because everyone that was in the last stream has not popped over just yet. Maybe they didn't know. Um, so I'll wait. So I'll, I'll do the next colour and then we'll do the second one. That's fair. I don't want people to miss out. It's not fair on them because of YouTube being a gremlin. It is. It is. It's, it's, been, it's been a bit on the um, really, really difficult side recently. <clears throat> So, yeah, yeah, it's a nice one. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the colour of the hair. It's just uh, got to get it, got to get it right. Hi, Tanya. Hope your recovery is going well. Okay, so let's go for our third colour for now, and we'll do the giveaway in a minute. If I do the third colour, wait for everyone to get in. It has been very bad. Uh, the first one, Natalie, was a coloured page. The second one is a coloured page as well, but they're two different ones. Right, so then the third colour 
I went in was cool grey lightly and added hints of cream. So 20, I went in with a 10% cool grey first. I'll do it in a minute. Let me get this one colour down because I don't want people to miss it. I feel awful that they've, you know, been stamped on because of YouTube. So I'm just going to put hints of the cool grey in. Now, you don't need a lot of this one. And the reason you don't need a lot is because you're trying to take out the grey. You don't want to introduce that too much. So with a cool grey, I'm so sorry about that. You know, I can't do anything. It's beyond my control, unfortunately. Um, but you know what YouTube can be like. It's unpredictable. Oops. Um, so you're going in and adding in a bit of the cool grey. Now, you're not going to see much of it, but it does give it a slightly silvery look which when you're looking onto it, you will see that. So I'm being selective and I'm going into these areas that are a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm adding this into like these sections here. So you're adding a little bit of that light cool gray into your white light gray areas on your illustration. So you, you're not going over all these other areas. You're going into the very light areas of your illustration. That's all you're doing. You're picking out. So you're being quite selective on what you want here. And you will have some of this. It will sort of take out a little bit. Oh, I know, Natalie. Isn't it just? Isn't it just? Right, are you all back? Should we do the, should we do the second giveaway now? Okay, let's do it. If you're all here, let's do it. So it's just my coloured pages today. My giveaways for the months are usually next week. Um, usually the second week in of the month, I do a giveaway of something new I order in for you. So Joey won last time the Fairy Miracles that I ordered in. And Lou, she got the Artesia pencils. You know, we do something every month. No, not that I know of, Melody. It's been quiet on the scene this month. All right, so same rules apply, guys, as the last one. So this is the second coloured page. Sorry about the light in it. We'll adjust because of the pages. Right, this is the coloured page that you will be going for. And this is the serene coloured page that we did on stream. Now, again... One to a hundred, one entry, anyone to enter, one entry, the nearest to the number that's drawn without going over first is the winner. So when I type go, which will be now, when I type go, Kate, you can enter. And when I say stop, you, not yet, not yet, not yet, guys. Only when I say go. Only when I say go, go now, now. Because <laughs> we've got everyone here again now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so we'll give it a minute. And then when I type stop, I'll draw the winner. <clears throat> as I said, one entry per person, and it will be the first person to, um, oops, it's really shiny, that paint, isn't it? The first person, I know, I love watching it go, it's like, whoosh, <laughs> um, will be the winner, and you have to email me your address, which I'll send out next week. I'll let you know anyway, I'll email you back to say it's sent. <laughs> Because I've got to get the correct envelopes because they're big. And I'll do another one. I know, Shannon. I know. So I'll give it another 20 seconds. Oops. And, oops. I'll do another one of these next month with another serene page that I've got. Emily, yes, you did. Ah, uh, it's because of the hours it gets put into it. I love this type of thing. I love ha like handmade things by anyone. I might do something handmade for some. <gasps> do you know what I'm going to do? I've got something special for you guys soon that I can make. Lou's got some. She'll know what they're on. It's uh, it's something homemade by me. 
I'll do a little batch of them to give away on the channel and I love doing them. Oh my gosh, I love doing them. Lou's got some. Okay, you all done? So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Okay, and anything now won't be, anything before or after won't be counted. Okay, so we've got our numbers here, 1 to 100. And our result is number 41. So anyone that is nearest or on the ball without going over the first person is the winner. So let's go up. Tammy's got 39. Without going over. Daria's 39, which is after, so is Mona. All right. Anyone 40 or 41? Okay. Oh, I know, Kimberly. I just saw that. And I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> you. At the moment, Tanya Woodward is my, am I right? Is that, am, I, am I correct? Yeah, it's the first person. First person. At the moment, I can see Tanya Woodward as the first one. Yeah, 39 Tanya. She was the first to enter it. Am I right? Go right to the top. It looks like Tanya, doesn't it? Yeah, I've gone right to the top and seen Tanya as the first person with 39. Yes. Okay. Tanya, email me. <laughs> there is my email address. Okay, so Tanya, I'm going to write you on the back. I will mail that out next week. And next, in the next couple of weeks, I'll do the giveaway, my monthly giveaway, with a goodie next. <laughs> um, we, next week will be my monthly giveaway and then the couple of weeks after that I'm going to make something and I know that you'll like it and that will also be a little giveaway and they are so cute <laughs> so cute I love doing them okay so now I've got to adjust my lighting again congratulations Tanya so I've got to take the lighting down all right Caroline no, not that I've seen, Melody. Not that I've seen. Not this month, I don't think. I've had a look, but I'm pretty sure there isn't. What if there does? I'll let you know. Uh, Natalie, it's a surprise at the moment until I've made them, and then I'll do on my Instagram what it will be. <laughs> yeah, it's so adorable. I promise you, you'll like them. I love them. I love them. I love them myself. Hi, Helly. <laughs> okay, so I'm still with my cool grey. Um, and I'm going to zoom you back in. And we're going to continue. Now we're just going to do hair. No more giveaways now. I've just done, I've done those two for today. You're welcome. Okay, so with the 10% cool grey, you're adding hints in. Um, so I'm going quite hard on my pressure. Otherwise, I'll never get this done. So I'm going quite hard on my pressure and it just allows some to peep through and it gives it like a silvered look slightly into that, you know, <laughs> I know I am. But think how quick it goes. Hi, that was quick. Yeah, Andrew's back from the supermarket already. No, you've been going quick, quick. Okay. So you're just adding hints of it and all it does is tone down and takes out the dark that we don't want. And trust me, you can't see this on the screen as much, but it's there. Melody said, hi, Andrew. Hi. <laughs> Hope you can hear him because he's out in the hall. He did say hi. Ah. I don't know what he's got, Lou. He got the essentials, I think. He's probably got himself a pizza to eat now, knowing him. Okay, so then I'm going to go for putty beige, because we've done peach beige, and now we're going to get our putty beige. And this, again, it goes into the tones with the others. Now, it just brings those extra tones in that I'm looking for, because when I'm doing this hair, this is so many of the, like, grey, putty, umbery, um, just creamy tones without using yellow. 
So you're just adding that on top. I don't know. No, I don't think he did pickle. I didn't put it on his list. Honestly, I, why didn't I think of that? He wouldn't have thought of that unless I told him to get it, you see. What? Chocolate. Oh. Okay. No, see, he didn't. He didn't think of me. Did you get your pizza? <laughs> Can you hear that laugh? He thought of the pizza. I didn't think of that. <laughs> Okay, okay, thanks for joining. <laughs> okay, so you're adding the tones in, but you aren't taking out uh, what all the other colours that you've put. Now, I'm going to really focus on the areas of the grey because I really hate those greys and I want them to go. So I'm going to use quite a heavy influence at the top with the party beige. Um, and it just, it honestly does make the difference. So it just brings in... Did you hear that evil laugh? <laughs> oh, Lou. I'm going to have some sleep. Okay, so it just takes out all these nasty greys that I don't like. Um, I really don't like these greys at all, and I'm, like, working so hard. But if you've got this as line art, Oh, yeah, sorry, Charlie's left. Hi, Winchester, too. Where's Selena? <laughs> um, if you've got line art and not this, you will honestly uh, see the same result. So that's why I wanted to show you it on here. It doesn't matter what hair you do it on, you'll have the same result. So these colours combined are what you need to do this colour pale, you know, this pale, very light blonde. Um, it's not quite a silver blonde, but it's just a very pale one, and uh, it does come on if you do it on line art or grayscale. It's it's the same on both. So I do apologise to the last stream. Uh, it's just YouTube. You have to just bear with it this week. The gremlins are in full swing, and they're driving me nuts. Okay, now we're going to bring in our amazing colours that are personally my favourite. So now is the raw umber, before we put any cream in the luminance, we're going over to the luminance. Yeah, it's an ash blonde. It's lovely, I love it. <laughs> Hi, anyone that I might have missed. Hi, Karen. Okay, <clears throat> so now is my favourite. I love this tone. I'm going for the raw umber. Now, the raw umber in the luminance, as opposed to the tones that we've just used, they're very similar, but this lays on thick and creamy, and it does give it another dimension. Now, I'm really going to focus on these darker grayscale areas with this pencil. So I'm looking at where the dark is and going with that. So you would have this into your, if you had line art, into your darkest areas. So if you've got any places that you personally need to have, you know, any dark areas. So say you had underneath her ear or underneath like a plait or a bun, you would use this one. So go for the raw umber in the luminance for doing that. It really is your, oh, I love it. It's just, it changes it and it changes the tone. And you can use this in replacement of all the greys. Um, but if you wanted to add a bit of dark grey, you would add in the 50% cool grey. So that's if you don't have grayscale already. Your grayscale is your 50% cool grey, really. It acts like it. If you've got line art, add it in. That's the difference. This has kind of done it for you a little bit, so you haven't got to worry. Um, but if you don't have grayscale, you would go for the 50% cool grey and add it in but not heavily, <laughs> just add it in lightly. So this is a really nice tone. It really does check. You see, it changes it up. Ah, uh, yeah, the two singles um, for light blonde hair, honestly, well, three. Buff titanium is a must. It's your essential because you're going to bring some more back in in a minute. Um, 
raw umber at 10% and French grey 10%. They're really nice colours. And to be honest, the luminance for me never fail because they were designed in mind for portraits and stuff. So for hair, for skin, they're perfect. They've got all the tones that you need. And to be honest, they merge really well with Prismas because they're both wax based. So they work really, really well. Okay, so you can see now the difference and how much it's really brought that to life. Uh, Natalie, what type of skin? There's many types. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to come in with my um, cream. I'm going to add hints of cream, which is a Prismacolor. Now, I don't want too heavy of this. It is a little bit waxy. There's going to be wax buildup. Oh, I'm going to snap that. I knew I'd do that. This was super sharp. I've got to press down a little bit heavier with this, and I don't want a ton of it. I just want to bring a little bit of a a creamy tone in sections. So focus on places like the top here and these areas that are a little bit lighter in general. And you might have to press a little bit harder in general. It had to happen, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Caucasian, in what cut in the luminance? I'll have to tell you after, otherwise I'm gonna lose my swing of what I'm doing. Um and I'll my brain will be all over the place. But Ask me at the end if you're around. If not, email me. Email me and I'll give you a list. Yeah, that's what you do. Email me and I'll give you a list of what I use in uh, different pencils. Okay. So I'm just putting hints of cream in and you're putting them into the light areas. Uh, buff titanium is a slightly off-white. Can you see that? It's gorgeous. It's like a very light. Uh, yeah, I'll put it now. Hold on. I'll give you my email. Hold on. Oh, look, it's messed up. Hold on, guys. It's messed up my lighting. Oh, my gosh, what's happened? Bear with me. Oh, my light has gone off. Bear with me. This is going to really bug me. Hold on. My light has just gone all completely off. I might have to reset and then come. Hold on. Because I moved my arm in the camera and it's messed it up. Let me just see a minute. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just making sure. Right, sorry about that. That's okay. Right, so now, now I'm going to bring in my buff titanium again because I put hints of cream. That was my cream. So the cream is just very selective on where you need that to go. It's not an overriding colour. But now you need your buff titanium. And now you can start to override some bits with the buff titanium. You're going to press quite hard with this. So just press hard into where you want your light sections. So I'm going to have like a hint here. So just you're burnishing into your paper a good amount. And all this does is make sure that you've kept a lot of that light element in. Now the camera is really going to struggle picking up all these colors because it's so light but you have to really work this one and it, it just keeps a nice element to it so you just add in all your buff back into where you need it to go so all your light areas and it just is to make sure that you're covered in all aspects of light and darks but the thing is with light blonde, you're never going to have too dark, are you? Your darkest is those other blonde tones. So I don't want it to go real dark on your screens. It's going to bug the life out of me. Thank you. I'm trying to get your screens right, guys. It is just, you're going to have to just bear with a second. Oh, it's driving me nuts. 
it's because how pale this is, it's not going to pick it up to how I want it. Just bear with me. I'm going to have to just put my hand there. Is it all right on your screens, everyone? I have to really, really go with what your your screens look like. Hi, Stacey. Is your screens okay? Take care, Robin. Is it dark on your screens? Is it okay? Is it good? Yes. Okay. Okay, right. Thank you, ladies. Thanks. I just need to make sure. Right. So then we're going to, that's sort of what you're going to need for the minute. We'll come back, touch up on all of that after. Right, go back to your bar. What's not sharp? The screen or my pencil? Um, the print is an HP one and my paper is a uh, one... Is it blurry again? Hi, Dash. Oh, this is going to honestly drive me bonkers today. What about now? Hold on. Hold on. It's still blurry. I wonder why. Hold on, this is gonna look my hands gone pale now. Can you see that? Hold on. Bear with me, everyone. I have to mess around with it for a second. It's just going to bug me today. Uh, as long as you can make it out, if this is going to be how it's going to be, I'm going to have to call it and come back at another time because obviously I don't want it blurred. Is it okay? It's really messing the lighting up, this one. Is it better? Better? Sorry for those watching this back. I just don't want to get this wrong. Yeah, okay. Right, all right. Let's go with it. If I zoom in, tell me if it blurs, because then otherwise I have to keep zoomed out. Right. Does it blur? Is it is it a bit sharper now? If I zoom in, does it blur? Right. Okay, perfect. Jesus, this blooming thing today. Oh, dash it with coloured pages. Is it blurry again? What about if I put that there? Is it blurring that or is that clear? Right, okay. Let me go with this then. I'm going to cook because I'm going to continue otherwise I'm going to end up getting the hump with it. <laughs> okay, back to buff titanium. Go over. I'm going to go literally over the entire thing. Go into the white sections only. Yeah, I'm going to end up getting the absolute hump with the uh, computer in a minute if it doesn't sort itself out. I'll give it that. No. But I'm not a defeatist. I'm like, you're not You're not winning. You're not winning. <laughs> it's not winning. Okay, Mum. Yeah, that's going to be taken out. It's fine. Right. So, I'm just going over very lightly with my luminance buff titanium <clears throat> all of the white areas so just all of them go over the entire thing we're going to take out that horrible gray anyway hopefully it'll focus then and if it doesn't i'll just stamp on him <laughs> oh my gosh i'm not a defeatist i'm telling you i will make things work it's like people say to me how's your pain i'm like i'm okay because it's not getting the better and i'm, I'm like this with anything it's not getting the better of me it's like you are going to work whether you want it or not so all of your white areas cover them all over just go over everything i 
Um, Anna, I'll send you a message with it. Is that all right? Because I've got my book in the cupboard. And I'll send you a message of it all. Yeah, Stacey, mine's, mine's good on this card. I'll put the, in the description of this, bear with me, guys. I will put the paper that I use, the colours, and the PDF link. And I will put any additional information at need, but they're the three things that I'll do, okay? Okay, enjoy Super Bowl weekend. Okay, so I'm going over all of it. <laughs> Welcome back. So, remember if there's anything for me as well, if I don't see it the first time, it's because my head's down, I haven't seen it. Um, because sometimes chat flies. And if there's anything aimed at me, pop it in caps. If you're here, just so it catches me. And Tilly's saying, hi. <laughs> yeah. She's chatting again. She was shouting at me earlier. Shouting at me. Okay. So over all of the areas, literally all of your areas that are white, just go in. So you are just covering all of it. And then these parts are quite heavily grayscaled. So you're going to use a lot of your raw umber and your French gray into that. Because we want to take that out. That is not working for me. <laughs> and the reason I did the skin on this is so that you can see the light blonde. So over the entire thing with the white, this is, again, this is not Bible to what you should be doing. This is just how I, how I would color it and how I would approach it with the colors that I'm happy with. But there are other tutorials um, out there and other color alongs, et cetera, that do this kind of thing, that are artists who would probably do this 100 times better. So do check them out. I know Kirsty Partridge Art has got one, but she draws the hair herself. So bear that in mind. This is how to color it with minusing out all the drawing, because you're, you're coloring line art, ultimately. You're not coloring you know, your own art. So, yeah, those protector sheets, Lou, they're really good for, like, marker stuff, aren't they? Those um, stencil sheets, what they're called, mylar, mylar sheets. It's like a hard one. That's what I use mine for. Okay, so you've gone over the entire area with the titanium. I know, can you hear her? Hi, Kenneth. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to go back in with my French grey 20%, uh, which is my Prismacolor. And now I'm going to focus on the bun before I go to the plait, etc. So you're going to have to use a firm bit of pressure on this one. And take out all of the heavy grayscale with this. But again, if you're doing this on line art, you're still going to do the same principle, same colours. You would just do it a lot less pressured with this part. So just put in your strands with your French grey, but don't be burnishing the page because you don't need to do that. You just only need to do that with the, the grey scaling because it takes it out. And trust me, if you did this hair and you did like a black background, it would stand out a clear mile. So if you're colouring a background, I mean, we could do that on this, you know, my tester page. We could do that with, couldn't we? We could just test it out to see what it looks like against a sort of black background. Why don't, you know, why? Why? We can do that. So like with this one that I've done, which is only, I haven't done all this. I just put a couple of colours down to show you the difference between layering up. Um, we could put like a background on this and see how much that stands out. It will really change it. It will really change it up. So if you're doing backgrounds, even a solid colour, you don't have to go to town and do anything fancy. Uh, it will stand out really, really well. Really well. I still can't believe Jody. He got pizza and forgot to get me my sugar-free chocolate. <laughs> How bad. Hi, Rona. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's why he laughed. Yeah. 
But I won't tell him off too much. No, this is, uh, he bought me this morning, uh, well, this afternoon, the Quirkles, the next other one that I wanted. Um, hold on. No, he didn't. I ordered them by accident. Did I order that? Yes. Ah, oh, thank you. I forgot to put it on his card. What a wally. I've done it on my card, not his. Oh, and then he, there was him saying, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, go get it. And I'm thinking I got too happy clicking buy now and I didn't put it on his card. Oh, Sam. Yeah, I did on my card, not by accident. I was getting too happy that he actually offered. But I've ordered it on my card by accident. Okay, I'm going to have to turn, turn, turn. So I'm going to have to press a bit firmer here without breaking this because it will break. So not too sharp on this bit, I suppose. Now, this is really heavily grey scout. I'll have to cancel the order and put it on his card. <laughs> oh, my gosh, there's something wrong with me. I'm telling you. I got so happy that he suggested them and I just clicked here and I forgot to change the card from mine to his. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, Karen, thanks for joining. Take care. Oh, dear. Theory me. What are we like, us ladies? The man says, oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. You know, fine, go ahead. Oh, okay, thank you. And then, oops, I've done it on mine. <laughs> Oh dear, I'd lose my head, honestly. Okay, I'm just going to do this bottom bit here with the French grey as well. Because it all links in. And then this part here, so that I really want to take that grey out. So you see the difference once you add this French grey already what it does. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> I promise you. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> so just going in with the French grey all over this. I'm just going to do this bottom bun before we move up. So the French grey is just putting in your strokes. It's starting your strokes off. Thank you, Rona. Right. Then I'm going to go over um, to my peach page. Where's my card? Or do I want my party page? Hmm. I think I might. I might go for my putty beige on this one I don't think we need the peach beige down here okay let's go for our putty beige <laughs> she's brilliant I love her sayings <laughs> okay so putty beige prisma and I'm just going to really pronounce the colour in these heavier shadowed sections so take out that grayscale just take it out don't want it take it out as much as you possibly can and if you're doing this on line art go less pressured and go into the strokes that you've put into your hair alone without you know you, you've not done this You've not done this on grayscale. You're doing it on line art. You're still doing the same principle. Build it up. Build up those layers on line art. You're going to have to do all the work yourself on line art. So the only reason I'm showing you on these is it's easier for me to demonstrate on this. When we do our color alongs, et cetera, they're not grayscale. They're mostly line art. So we put the same principles into our color alongs as we do into this hair series. So we're still covering how... The technique is we still color the same hair colors except these are good to do the demonstrations on and then you can apply these techniques into all of your pages whether it be line art grayscale you could do it into fur if you really wanted to put give yourself a bit of a challenge take care david 
so really like you know really sort of put your time into it and put your efforts into it and it will pay off because you'll get the technique going and you'll be doing it into all of your pages and you'll be like oh it just comes to second nature so here you can see that is really really dark and there is no strands or strokes it is just one solid color so put your putty beige into that and loose hand around it so just loose hand and take it up into this area here now we're going to go in with um our french gray uh 10 percent which is our luminance Uh, no, this is, I did, um, oh, la, 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 la. what did I do? Prismas for the skin. Ah, I told you, it's addictive, isn't it, Susie? <laughs> I told you. I told everyone, I'm like, you're, you're just, your whole life will go for that day. <laughs> okay, luminance, French grey. And this is going to sort of pronounce the set, you know the separate little bits at the bottom you want to pronounce it out so use the french gray to kind of really sort of make that part stand out so go into these quite heavy and make sure that you can see each separate part and you want to see the strands you want to see the strands oh you've got an audio bit yeah loose hands loose hands all the way <laughs> so no stiff we don't like stiff hands <laughs> nice loosey hands so see on this part i want this to stand out so again i'm kind of gonna sort of i'm not i'm just making it more visible i'm not burnishing the paper i'm just making these sections visible so you see the difference, it really makes it stand out. Oh, just going with layers, layers and layers. I did one um, just in markers, but it wasn't anything fancy. Uh, where is it? I did one in markers as well, uh, just in case this one went poop. Uh, just, just, this was markers, but it was slightly different toned. And I, just, I didn't want the whole thing, but I didn't finish that because I've, I've already done that one um i needed to work it a little bit more but i just thought nah this was if this one went belly up but it's okay because i've got the technique going so again these sections need to be a little bit more pronounced so we're going to make sure that we just separate that off with the french ray now i'm going to also bring some of that into here because this is really heavily grayscaled and i hate that on this picture because it doesn't sh doesn't just doesn't give it justice so make sure your french gray is kind of acting as your part that you know separates it all off and makes the strands pop you just want to make those strands really pop so same with this part now i've just accidentally well sorry right, i'll work that in there we go um again strands pop in i really want to make them really stand out so just use that line that's there for you and just sort of go over it and the same with this part so just make them stand out right now i want my buff titanium before i put in any cream or anything like that the reason i want my buff is i want to just put in that extra bit of pale oh you can all do it guys have faith so buff titanium is going to come in and it's just going to go into my light areas so really just focus back into those light light areas that we've got add them in a little you don't need too much we've already got it down it just reintroduces some and it as i said it takes out gray we don't want the gray just if you want any light areas you can burnish in some white after now burnishing means you're going quite heavy with your hand okay 
And then we're going to come in with our raw umber 10%, which is our Coran Dash again. And I'm going to bring my cream in last. This is just going to add that extra tone in for me. So this is a lovely tone. Um, the raw umber is a must. So I said I couldn't, I tried to do this with just the Prismas, and personally, I haven't figured it out. I'm sure there's many people that would be able to. I needed the luminance. I needed the luminance in there. I couldn't do it without. Okay, so this is really a nice color to define it. So you can see it's layering, multiple layers is the best with this. So you have to press firm. You've got to press firm and see it makes all the difference. Um, you've been working through them. <laughs> Bless you. Well, thank you for your support, guys. It means the absolute world. It just makes me smile. Oh, Nana, email me it. When you're done. I love to see. Like your email. Nana emailed me. Um, oh, thank you, Jack. Uh, her letters from the Kelly O'Gorman, they're amazing. Okay, cream. Can I show Nana? Am I allowed to show Nana Mo? Okay, we're gonna I show it at the end, remind me, they're amazing. I went at the end of this bit I can show. Yes, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to show them. Okay, so the cream is going in some part. It just makes a slight yellow, but I don't like too much of this because it takes away that sort of white pale look um, and it gives it too much of a yellowy look. But I want a hint of it because you do have a hint of it in the hair. So let's go to our reference picture a minute and let's have a look. Oh, you'll like this um, Winchester too. <laughs> I've got, can you see who that is? The three of them on my screen. Okay, let me show the reference. Let's go to the reference picture first and have a look. Okay, so so far, this is what we've done. We haven't done the, um, oh, that's what we've done so far. And they're the colours. You can't overcomplicate this. If you can't overcomplicate it, you're going to end up with a mess and it's not going to look bright and light. If you're going to put in the, um, if you're going to put in any darker, you're just going to end up making this a different colour altogether. You've got to keep it light. Yes, he's there on my phone. <laughs> right, Nana, I want to show your picture very quickly before I carry on. Andrew, sorry, one second. Do you know what I did? You know you're the cream and then you wanted the film and then I got the quirkles and you, I was about to put it on your card what well, turns out I put it on my card the cream the jewels and the quirkles because it's on my account I've done it on my card so I paid for it for me <laughs> yeah I was meant to do it on your card I was thinking oh yeah you can you can um treat me and I get treated for a change and then it's gone on mine Oh, sorry. <laughs> and no chocolate. So, you know. Okay. So, where's Nana Mo's? Okay. I think, I'm not sure if this is your one. Let's have a look. Yes. Okay. Save. Save the picture. Thank you. Take care. Thanks for coming. Okay, so we've got Nanamo's. Now, Nanamo, our lovely Nanamo, has done all these letters for her scavenger hunt. Is that right? I'll get this right. So, hold on. Let's turn the page. That's it. So, she's done all these amazing letters. Can you see them? So, she's done A here, and she's written who they're for, and I'll tell you, I don't have to explain who they're for, but she's done these amazing letters. And let's make sure our bright is up. And they're amazing. So and then she's done C. 
<laughs> and then D. And then she's done the F, the P, and she's done the N. And they're so colourful, and the M. So they're amazing, aren't they? So when you zoom out, they're all like that. And they're lovely. I loved them. Loved them. I was like, oh, look. Loved them. So, yeah. Great work, Nana. We love them. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go over to our plaits now. We're going to have to deepen up. So I'm going to skip the French grey on the plaits because I want the plaits to stand out. Okay. So what I'm going to do is going to go straight in with my raw umber 10%. I'm going to skip out the French grey on the plait. Don't want that. Don't want it. Be done with it. So I'm going to go in with the raw umber first. And I'm going to really pronounce. So we're going to use that. And we're going to make these a little bit deeper. Because the plait has got a lot of crisscross in. And you want to kind of make it stand out a bit. So if you go in with the uh, raw umber, you'll see what I mean. I'm just going to move that there for a second, just while I come down here. Now, the raw umber will still take out your grey scalp, but it will be nice and deep in your plaits. So you just take out the grey scalp only and leave the bright light areas. Now, again, you need loose hands. You're going around a lot of curves. The plaits require the loosest of hands and you really oh my gosh you really want to keep this deep just deepen it all up but still keeping that bright blonde look but you can see already it's going to really make it pronounce out hi lisa i haven't seen you in a while how are you doing the fabulous lisa <laughs> okay so same here. I still love your name, Lisa. It really makes me smile. There's a couple of I love some of your names. Little Pickle and Nana Mo, Mum, Mama Mix, <laughs> Granny Annie. That has got to be one of my new favourites. <laughs> I love it, Granny Annie. Oh my gosh. Brilliant names you've got, absolutely brilliant. You do, it makes me smile. Okay, so. I'm pressing way too hard on sharp pencils, that's why. So I am pressing firm on this bit. It's just to pronounce it out. I probably sharpen them a bit too much. I need to not sharpen them to such a point and then I won't have that. So lesson learned from me. Don't sharpen them too heavy, but just sharpen them to a nice point, but not like daggers. The daggers, nah, it just, you'll end up snapping them. So we're going to use as well uh, quite a bit of our buff titanium back in this, which will be nice. Because uh, this is going to make us sort of stand out at this point. So I'm going to come underneath. Let's do the top layer first and we'll come down that way after. So all of this raw umber, take out your grayscale. Go over your grayscale. Yeah, so keep that. Oh, thank you, Jack. I very much appreciate that. Thank you, sweetheart. That's very sweet of you. Thanks for supporting the channel. I appreciate everyone. Thank you very much. Truly appreciated. So you see the difference. If you forget the French grey and you just go on in there with the raw umber, it really keeps that deep blonde yeah, probably. <laughs> probably pickled. Probably. I'm a bit too happy about everything, aren't I? I mean, I'm re Oh, that was something else I've got to show you. Well, I'll show you at the end. I've got these dual brush tip water based markers for my colour by numbers. They're amazing. Um, and I'll put the link into them. Hold on, let me put that on my list of links that I put in. Link 
for the um, brush markers. I've got them for those, you know, the colour by numbers and the quirkles. Brilliant. Completely forgot about that. Hey, Christina. Happy Saturday. That was something else that I got to show because um, we can use them and incorporate them and they're brilliant um, when we do pictures and our next colour along. Right, so what I'm going to do as well with the next colour along, because I've got a few options, uh, and what I'm going to hand it over to you for a change. So on the community setting, Sky's just done the same thing as well, which I thought was a good idea. Um, I'm going to upload five options, and the one with the most votes is the one that we will go for. I will do them from different books, so it's going to be five different pictures from five different books. Now, I will put the pictures up and you will do the vote. So the vote will be over the next couple of days. Um, so after the stream, I have to do my usual, you know, take the dog out, do all of that, upload all the description. And then <laughs> I will upload the pictures. So you can have a vote. So I will hand it over to you. Um, and the the ball is truly in the subscribers cool <laughs> i thought that'd be a good idea <laughs> i was like i always choose let me hand it over to you for a change um so that is what i'm gonna do yeah katrina you're all right my lovely hope you're doing okay and i've read your message and of course i'll do that um, so Katrina asked because I've got to do it, but I'm going to do it as an upload. Oh, on YouTube in the I'll do it as like a a picture on the community setting. It will come up. Okay. So Katrina asked me because uh, I've got to do it being uploaded one Katrina. So Katrina wants a a picture coloured with light coming from the sky onto different items. So she would like to show if I can do a demonstration on how to colour something glowing, like light coming from like the sky, um, and it would be kind of me if I could consider it. Of course I would, and thank you so much. Of course I will. Take care, Rona. Um, so yeah. I can do that as an upload, Katrina. Like, I'm going to do my denim one as an upload as well. And I've also got a video coming up. I'm trying to do a few more uploads, but the vi can can anyone recommend who does YouTube, if you watch this, a good video editing software, please, uh, that doesn't cost an arm and a leg? Because I've looked on one that sounds really good, a Sony one, um, which is, on Amazon but I don't want to spend it if it's no good if there's a different one that you all recommend I'd go with that over a recommendation over just something that I'm trying on a whim um, so if there's any video uploading because Windows doesn't have one Windows is pretty rubbish with that I'm not on Apple okay thanks Anna Yes, I did. I did. I did. I did. I saw that. Uh, Lou loves purple. I'm going to call you Purple Lou. Okay, just so I remember because we've got quite a few Lou's. Right, so that one, before I go down the other side, I've put the raw umber. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is grab the cream before I put in any buff titanium. And I'm just going to Additionally, add a few strands into the light, not much. And we're going to go with a, um, a French grey after the luminance one. And a bit of the peach beige, which for some reason my card's gone walkabout. I don't know where it's gone. Oh, Chip, did you steal it? I'm just adding like hints of it. So just add a hint on each bit into the light white area. Oh, okay. Thanks, Guy.
<laughs> purple no it's just so i know that which one um v is it online then and you have to download it sky v oh oh thanks katrina um v s d c and it's yeah because you upload quite a few sky don't you um, that's edited which I like um, it's just for the uploads because sometimes you know I want to quickly speed I want to speed right I wanted to do a little series on small things um, and I wanted to edit if I need to I don't edit anything um, it's just not me really I don't know how to on half of it but I really do need the editing on just some bits that's unnecessary that you can just snap out that you don't need it luminance french gray um so i really needed to look at a video editing tool and i stuck one just temporarily for myself to buy in my uh wish list just in case it was that one but if i can get one online that's free i'm gonna go for that because we don't i don't i, I won't be using it often in hindsight um, all I'm going to be using it for is just a few of the uploads. Whereas, you know, streaming, I'm not editing that. That's just how it is. Streams happen how they are. They're live. So if anything happens that's wrong or if you've got bits in there that people want to skip, just skip, you know. It's, it's not. It's just that's how it is. Hi, Caroline. Yeah, Luminance and Prisoners. Luminance and Prisoners today. So it's... Prismacolor and Luminance. So this one's a Luminance in my hand. I will list it all in the description after. Sorry about everyone that joined the first stream that it messed up. It's, uh, you know, unavoidable sometimes. Okay. So I'm really I'm making those strands stand out. Now, I don't know if, if I come closer, you'll be able to see them. But there are a lot of strands in there, and they are making a difference. Now, the putty beige that I can't seem to find my card for, uh, peach beige, there it is, is a really nice colour to add in. Now, it gives it a slight beige tone. <laughs> what do you mean? Um, it's a nice one that we're going to add in, and then we're just going to go in with our buff titanium. Now, oops, sorry about knocking the camera. So the, this is the Prisma, and I'm just going to go into sections, not into all. It happens every time. Okay, so you probably see. So you're just really sort of looking at where you want these tones to go oh hannah lynn she's moving to patreon from the vip lounge thing isn't she yeah so the vip lounge sky is that right it's i still haven't watched it what happens to you can if you if you've got time to explain it quickly if you've already paid for the year or for however long um up front how do you then pop on over I don't know I lost count I lost count people I lost count I stopped counting at about 100 I'm pressing hard onto this one though I'm just not going to do them as sharp you know because I'm just snapping them okay so it gives it a nice peachy tone you can see the tones into it now, if you want to introduce any white, this is the stage to do it, but or your buff titanium. So all I'm going to do, again, with the buff titanium, I wouldn't advise going too sharp with this because you'll snap it. Just add in really, really quite harsh your light areas um, that you need in it. So you know like I did with my soft white on grey? So you add those in so it's just a case of burnishing it in slightly and it will just it section it up thank you and as i said this applies both line art grayscale except you will add the grayscale in, in a little bit yourself with cool gray 50 percent um 
it is really good to put the cool grow 50 percent in right so the other side of the plaque again we started with our raw umber didn't we so i raw umber 10 percent in at the lumi and i'm gonna have to put that somewhere where you can still see it but i need the room okay so again i'm just going to take out the gray and if you're doing this on so say you're doing it on a piece of line art i'm really crap at drawing um so say you've got a line art piece of hair and say that's your piece of hair thank you and you're adding it in yourself you would come from the bottom and add it in so say you've got no gray scaling in that so you would bring that in yourself and you would do it that way see but all i'm trying to do imagine that's already gray I'm trying to like burnish that in, so I'm going even harder. But you would still bring that in, you would still do that, and then you would go, keep going. Hello, 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 Marianne. That's a lot of hellos. <laughs> so you're still doing it, but you've got to let be less pressure than I'm doing on here. I'm putting a heavier pressure. If you're going to do it on grayscale, heavy pressure. If you're doing it on line art, lessen that hand, lessen the pressure. Hey, Kenny. <laughs> So that's the difference. Same colours, same method, less pressure on line art. Heavier pressure on grayscale because you've got a lot of work to do to take out this grey. The grey is your aid, but you don't want it. You don't want it. You want it gone. So I hope that made sense because sometimes I get so like lost in it that sometimes my words become an absolute jumble because you just do don't you you just like in the moment you forget to explain so line art less pressure same method um grayscale more pressure same method as what i'm showing and it take this one takes a little bit of doing and if you don't want this color and you want less um, of a blonde more of a white you would just eliminate the yellow tones and go for more silver grays I reckon and leave a lot of it white and that would stand out against the background that really would if you already had a like a background solid background done or any kind of background that is going to contrast against it would just really really stand out so this is one of those hair colors that really looks good against a full colored page as opposed to a big white area. So really, really, really love this colour. I really do. I'm like, I've said really so much, but I honestly, I envy this hair colour so much. It's beautiful. It's that light blonde that is most of us uh, have to use it in a bottle, bottled blonde, but some people have this really beautiful ash blonde and they're just fortunate okay so we're just going in with the raw umber i'm just getting our street take care pickle oh my gosh no i could not do that song that drives you nuts do you know it off by heart <laughs> i bet you do it was everyone was singing baby shark I didn't envy mums when that came in. I was like, I would, it would drive me to lally. So these areas are coming less now of the grey. So you've got it here and under here, but these parts aren't. So we're going to swap the raw umber here with the French grey again. Uh, but the plaits we're keeping with the same colours and the same methods. So we're taking out the French grey and added this one in. So if I zoom out a minute, is it less? I don't want it blurry. Is it blurred again? It keeps changing because the light's changing. Hold on, everyone. Just make sure it's all right. Is it okay on your screens again, guys? Sorry for checking and being a nuisance with this whole light in today, but I don't want it blurring. It looks like it's blurred slightly to me. 
because it's focusing on certain parts of her. If anyone's um, on the last stream, I think people are entering for, I did say it was the stream. <laughs> Um, it wasn't for anyone that it wasn't an upload one. I think I've just got someone entering in on the last stream saying enter me It's just popped up on my screen Weird isn't it? It's really strange isn't it? I wonder why I wonder why it does that. Okay, so keep your roll rumba. I'm gonna have to as long as you know which method I'm doing, I'm, and then I'll show you after the end uh, these brush tips and anything else you want me to show, I'll, I'll show. <laughs> if there's anything, I can't think um, what I've bought. I haven't bought anything else yet. Nothing's out. Okay, so I'm just with a raw rumble for the moment. So I've just got on this sort of plait coming down. So we're keeping with that. Now, Again, I'm going to just pick up my peach beige a minute and then I'm going to also add parts of it into here. Now, I don't want too much, so I'm just going to keep to the edges and sort of make it stand out. So you see, like, it, we've got all these parts that separate. No, I don't. I don't. Hi, Seely. <laughs> no, I, I forget what I buy. <laughs> I'll show you at the end. So the brush tips are, they were £25. They weren't expensive. And they are water-based. So you can use them in your things like, you know, if you've got double-sided books um, rather than single-sided because you can't use the alcohol markers unless you're willing to sacrifice the back page, which I'm not. I'm not. I bought that book. I'm not willing to sacrifice the back page, no. So these give you an option of putting markers down without, they're a bit streaky, I suppose, like most water-based markers are. Um, but it gives you the option to. So, you know, it, it, it's a nice, it's a nice thing to be able to use some, just a base of something if you're looking for that without having the alcohol marker bleed. And I love my alcohol markers, but there's some books like the Colour by Numbers that are double-sided, and I'm not prepared to sacrifice the back page ever. So I definitely don't want to. Um, so I've got these brush tips, and they're brilliant. And I don't know the name of them. They're nameless, but I numbered them, and I have got the link. So that's, that's at least something, isn't it? Okay, going over to my Cream Prisma, and... I'm just, again, going to select in where I would like some, so not over the entire thing. And we're going to bring in our buff titanium after and some French grey. Okay, so it's very selective on the, the cream. You don't want too much. No, I'm using luminance and prismas. So now I'm going to my luminance buff titanium. And again, that's going into all your areas that are white and light. So all of them and take out that B. You've got to be quite firm with this part. Take out all your grey and just add it in. And then you've got your French grey and that's it. And then we're going to these sections and then we're done. So as I said, same principle on line art, except you are having to sort of add them in yourself I do Mel but very rare and I tell you why I tell you why I don't ever really need one because I generally use my pencils to blend um so say you're doing a graduation I usually go back to my lightest color and the lightest color will generally do what I'm looking for in terms of the blend uh, without me having to use a blender pencil but there are occasions where I have to use it I don't dislike them I just very rarely use them because I find that if you shade and blend with your pencils it's done the work for you so and you're doing amazing Christina 
Um, so you don't necessarily need it if all your if your colours have done what you wanted it to do. If the colours are a bit more tricky, I'd say definitely run over to a blender. Coming back to my luminance French grey, and I'm just going to add a touch of this in. And it's, again, just to pronounce out some of the grayscale parts, but not all. So just being, again, very selective on where you want this to go. It's not into all sections, especially on underneath parts here. You want that to kind of be taken over with a gray. So just be generous on the amount. With this color, more layers is best. And then towards the end, you are pressing quite firm. It's to take the colors like and make them pop. That's all it does. Take care, anyone that's going. Hold on, let me see if that makes a difference. Okay. Now, the French grain 10% in the, this one, in the luminance, it, to me, really makes this change in terms of the shading. Um, the, you can't really do this without the greys. The greys are key. I prefer the greys in the luminance, the French greys, than the prismas. That's what I mean. If you go to different sets, they've just got a different complementary colour, which just complements the picture a little bit more than the other set, that's all. Right, so if I bring that up to you, you'll see, I'll take a picture of it, but can you see all the different tones of blonde in there without it blurring? Uh, they're just a cheap £2 one. Um, if you just put in pencil extenders, that's what they look like, and they've got like a... They've got an adjustable end, and to be honest, luminance are best in this one. So I don't know if it shows it up, but there are many different tones in that. So it's, it is really, really, you can see, it's hard to pick it up on the camera. Um, but if I show you the picture after, you can see, this is what I mean. The lighting does this no justice at all. But if I turn it upside down, sometimes it makes a difference. You can see it all. It's that whole thing of visual perception of upside down. There you go, look. The visual perception of stuff upside down is a lot better. You can see better upside down. They said you turn things upside down. There's a reason. You can. That's when you can look at things and, and think, do I need to change it? So it really does work. Go upside down, guys. Turn your work upside down. It works. <laughs> it really works. Ah, oh, you're back again. <laughs> it's true, though. Visual perception, like they say this, turn it upside down. It is really it's handy. And it changes the... Oh, my gosh, here we go again. Hold on, guys. There we go. No, it's bothered it up. Hold on. It really does change it for you. Let me just uh, knock around. So bear with me. It's really, hold on, hold on, hold on. Focus, focus. Oh, one minute, everyone. It's done this again. Oh, this lighting's doing my head in today. Oh, can someone come and tell YouTube off for me, please? Right, hold on. I've got to go bright to down. No, it's still not working. Hold on, everyone. Bear with me. I've got to move it about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There we go. <laughs> it's coming back. It's coming back. Oh. oh, my gosh. Hold on, guys. You're missing. What are you missing? You're missing my camera driving me nuts. Just bear with me. It is the absolute bane of this. Hold on. It really does muck it up. Yeah, if there was a mistake, um, Abby, it's not personal, sweet. Sorry about that. It's just all to do with sometimes... We think that there might be someone spam. It's nothing personal, we promise. Um, the mods would not have done it 
if bear with me everyone this is gonna bug me now my lights gone completely skew it okay thank you sorry if we if you got offended it wasn't intentional okay we're gonna have to try and go with roll with that it's really really mucked up okay let's just go with this otherwise it's gonna drive me absolutely bonkers it's one of those colors that's just not going right in the screen Whew. anyway before I throw a wobbly over my page, I'm going to pick up my French Grey 20% in um, my Prisma. And hopefully, if the lighting goes off, please tell me, guys. I beg you. I beg of you. Because I have to really allow you guys to let me know. Okay, there we go. So 20% French grey. I'm gonna have to turn the page um, because you're over here. So you're gonna you're gonna have to bear with me on turning you. I'm gonna turn you to the side, okay? So you're just gonna go to the side. So now all I'm gonna do is take out this area, but this is quite light. So use your pencil to just take out the grey. If it goes really dark, do tell me because it's really playing up. Hopefully that'll work. So just take out this grey, but leave all this area because look, that's really light. So this area is dark at the top, but the area at the top is light. So you really don't want to. Now that's um, that's my lamp. Hi Shonda. That's my lamp. If you heard that noise, I've got like a lamp overhead. Well, there's two actually, but. Okay, so all I'm doing is just allowing that French grey to come in. The lighting is terrible today. I'm going to just moan about that. I'm sorry. And then there's areas here that I want to leave really, really light. Okay, Kenneth, thanks for coming. It's good to see you as always. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of it coming up. I don't want much, just a touch. Yeah, it's fine. It's going to, I'll try and adjust it at the end. As long as you can see what I'm doing and then I'll adjust it properly so you can see all the true colours. It's just one of those hair colours that's just not picking up on camera just as well because it's bright. And the, the contrast just is not working with it. Okay, so just go into all your grey scalp with the French grey 20% just all of it and bring the gray down here but allow a big area here to be clear so just you see you've got a big gap i'm just gonna have to adjust that a minute hold on everyone as you can see okay so all of this i'm not in chat for a minute yeah so you see these areas here you're leaving those take care leave those don't have those with any gray and leave them leave those parts here so they're very pale and that's what you want. So just for a minute, you're on your side. I'll bring you back the other way in a minute, but I have to turn you on the side. So just bring some of the French gray up from the bottom and bring some down here from the top. Now, there's a whole section there that you can see that I've left really light. Now it's fleshed out again. I give up, I give up. There we go, okay. <coughs> so what I'm going to do now, I want the peach or putty beige. Which one do I want? Hold on, let's have a look. So I think I'm going to go for the peach beige. And this is a prisma colour. A 
and I'll read out to you at the end other pictures that you can maybe use as well instead. Um, hold on, what's going on? What's going on? She seemed young, didn't she? I was just about to say that as I was reading up. She seemed very young, and that's no disrespect to anybody, but you have to be 15 to be in chat. And that just means that you're protected, um, you know. And people that are entering, if you're coming in and you're entering on the last stream for giveaways, it was for the giveaway that was on stream. It's not to enter. I keep getting notifications that people are entering. It's not an entry that you uploaded. It was in stream. I did make that quite clear. Hi, Beth. Oh, that's okay. You can watch it back. Okay, peach beige now. Now, I don't want too much of this, but I, I do want to put it into some of these light areas. So I'm going to be quite generous on these sections here. And I'm just going to bring it into the peach beige as well. Okay. And then... I'm going to bring some into this area here coming down. And it's going to overlap into this white and the grey. So you're going to bring in some tones of it. Take care, Shonda, and you. You have a good one as well. Hold on, hold on, hold on. This, this is driving me to Lally today. It really is. Okay. So I'll try and adjust it at the end again because every time I put pencil to paper, it's so it's changing, it's changing, it's changing every time. So the peach beige comes into your light areas on these strands coming down. Now, if you've got any other line art and you've got particularly light areas, you can add the peach beige into those. So, again, applies to all colouring, not just this image. You don't have to do it on this image at all. You can do it on any colouring page that you've got. So, I'm just going to bring some down and into that area too. Okay, and then when you're allowing that colour to peep up, it's not, it, we need to work more at this section, which we will do with our luminance, but you're just allowing that in so that you've got the peachy tones in there as well. So we're nearly there. Now, I really do need, I can't do without, I really 100% need my raw amber. And that is my, oh, there we go. I think we're getting it back. I think we're getting it back, guys. I think we're getting the page back how it was. Okay. It will be all right. I can't be bothered. It's driving me nuts. Um, so I'm going to go for the raw umbar, 10%. Well, we've got quite a few trollsies today and I'm going to have to work that into my darkest areas at the top. So this is the luminance. I've swapped over and you're kind of just bringing that in. Take care, anyone that's going. Uh, Prismas, have you got Prismas? Have you got Polly's? Have you got Prismas and Polly's? They're my two. If you've got those two, you'll be all right. Oh my gosh. Hold on, everyone. 
If you're watching this back, I'm having a lot of issues today, so thank you for bearing with me. I'm having a lot of issues with my with my lighting. Um, so thanks, and for those of you here, thank you. <laughs> it will all go different once I take this particular illustration out of the camera. Trust me, it's it's one that is just not agreeing at all with the camera and that's a shame because the i'll upload it to instagram if you're not on instagram i highly recommend that you join and it will be on the thumbnail um the actual color is just amazing it pops um but for just some bizarre reason i think because it's quite a light color it's just not showing um yeah Yeah, Prismas and Polly's, Lou. I, ha I said it at the beginning. If um, if as Jack, have you got Prismas or Polly's? Okay. Now I need my French grey, ten percent of the luminance. If, bear with me in 10 minutes, if you've got any questions, ask me at the end and I'll try and help you at the end because otherwise I'm not going to get this done or I'm losing my train of thought. So if there's any questions, just I'm going to have five minutes after this is done and you can ask me then any questions, just ask away then. Okay, so I'm adding in the deep shades of it. So this French grey 10% is the luminance. So if you just bear with me, everyone, otherwise I'm going to lose my train of thought and I need to, I can't um, focus on two things today. It's just, I can't, I can't do it. I've tried, I'm failing. <laughs> Is it the same person? Gosh, children, <laughs> the children today, they're out in full force. Christ. Okay, cream. Now, I'm going to put this into the light areas and then I'm going to bring my buff titanium and we're going to then figure out if we need to adjust anything because I'm going to zoom out. So buff titanium is into the very lightest areas. So go into all your lights. Um, same with down here. And then I'm just going to sort of add additionally, like really strong amount of the buff titanium into those parts. Um, I really am sort of burnishing it in. And the reason why is so that you can see it and it takes out. Okay, let me zoom out a minute. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not giving in, Nana. No way. Right, let's make sure this is just defined and sharpened. Like now, I need to really fiddle. Um, right, I'm gonna have to turn the brightness up. Bear with this a minute, guys. Bear with it because it's gonna go, it might go a little bit funny. If it doesn't work as the color, I'll bring it up, but hopefully, it won't flash out. But it's a light blonde and it's not showing it to how it should be. Anyway, let's see if that works. So I'm going to bring it up. Now, it's really hard to sort of give the true, true colours of this. So I'm going to put it here so you can see. Are you still getting a lot of trolls? Oh, my gosh, they're in full force today, aren't they? Okay. So if we can kind of see the colours there we go there we go i think that's near a threat but i can't you, it's just not showing this is more towards what it should be now the whole principle of this is that you keep the light blonde and you've got these tones in it of like the peachy beiges especially into there we go there we go can you see that there's like different tones in the plat there's different tones as if you come towards here there's lots of different tones in it um so especially if you're coming like this section it's quite yellowed so
So you want that a little bit lighter. You can add a little bit more of a heavier cream impact. I know, bless them. And then sort of up here, you've got a little bit more peaches now. Oh my God, that same person. I'm, re I'm done, I'm done. It's looking fine. It just is the lighting, that's all. So it is, it's done. And then I'm going to show you the brush tips. And then if there's any questions, yeah. It's a different account. It's a different account. That person that has and lots more lives. They're being an absolute pain in the behind. Yeah, more account. It's sad, really. So this is how it's sort of looking. Now, I'm going to move this out of the screen a minute and I'm going to show you the PDFs and hopefully this will go back to my normal colour. Oh my gosh, this has been a nightmare with my hand. Going all different kinds of shades of red. There we go. Hope, let me see if I put this in the screen, what happens. Hold on. See, it's just bizarre, isn't it? It's completely bizarre. I know, the mods are bright. So you put that in the screen and then watch, guys. Watch, watch, watch. It's the pale colour. It, it just goes pale. It just... Anyway, right, let me show you these quickly um, before we have any questions. So that, I'll show you again at the end. Let me put that there a minute. And I'm going to grab those brush tips now. No, true, clearly, pickle, clearly. <laughs> Doesn't like the blonde. But I'll, sh I'll upload it over to Instagram. Right. So Sam was being Sam again. And she was buying a few things. And she went and got some weight water based markers. <coughs> but <laughs> I don't feel guilty because that's what life's about. <laughs> okay, so what I did get, and I'll show you at the end again, side by side comparison of the hair. I got these goodies. Uh, yeah. Right, so I bought myself oh, these colour brush tips. And I'm going to have to bring you up, guys. So you're going to go for a ride a second. There we go. Right, so I got these. And I've got these two books as well. And I'm really happy because I saw, I will link Colour with Claire's review of this book. Now, we could try some of these techniques in pages to come. There are so many, so I'm going to link Colour with Claire's uh, in the description, her review of this. Um, 101 textures. Okay, so this. I know, they're amazing. I'll show you the colours. This book is full to the brim, but one downside is that sometimes going from, like, on this one, it tells you step one, but then step two has jumped significantly. There should be a step in between. Um, so for me, there's, like, a stage missing in between. It should have a stage. So, yeah, I've done that, I've done that. Um, so, for me, like, this is amazing. I love this book. But it should be, like, here, there should be a stage in between some of them. Not all of them. Some of them are easily doable in the four steps. And Claire said the same thing. But, like, these ones we would use, tweed, plaid, wool, um, so you've got the canine eyes, they've got curly fur, nose, lips. I love the I love this one. This is the one I want to try. Oh my gosh, Lou, you're on your you are on your feet and on our today. Oh, Beth, that's okay. This is 101 textures and coloured pencil by Denise J. Howard. I'll put it in the description. Go and check Colour with Claire's review out. I'll link it in the description after the stream. There are so many things that you can do in this book. This one in particular, I'm going to try in my sketchbook as this one. 
Um, you got like the nose, the lips. It tells you step by step, and it uses Prismacolor. Then you've got like animals and insects. Um, you've got fabrics and textiles. Uh, you've got glass, stone, ceramics, woods and metal. You've got food and beverages. There's loads in here. Go and check Colour of Claire's review. Honestly, it's amazing. Um, and then you've got an artist gallery and you've got nature. So there's lots of different, lots of different things to try out in here and i personally love them i mean look at that apple one so the apple one goes from sketching it out but you can try it on a line art if you don't want to do that then it tells you the step two where to put the the yellow the green the pinks then you've got step three and how to burnish it and put it together and then step four is how to finish it off and they're really really good hi shara so there's lots of different ones. I mean, the gem, the gem, you know, there's so many. And I highly recommend that if you are wanting to grow and learn how to do all these effects, these kinds of books come in so handy. Then I was enabled by my mum, believe it or not. My mum finally enabled me on a book. My mum's been doing the most amazing things in this book. And these are really, I think, nice to do some, like, watercolour stuff with. And V has done the most amazing stuff with this as well. Um, again, I will link any channel that I mention, I will link in the description. So V does amazing work in these. And I absolutely love this book for the simplicity, but there's about four pages I love and I will show you. So I adore these two little drunk gnomes. I love them. This was like three pounds. I love this little Viking guy. And I love this wizard. This is the one that I want to do first. And I don't think this will take long. because I'm gonna, I think it would be really nice with Neos. Um, so I'll put the books that I've got. So I'll put the 101 book and this one. Now this is only 3.99. Um, so the Creative Heaven Fantasy Designs. So check that out. And right, last but not least. These, they're water based. Now, they're dual brush tips. And what I did, because they don't come with a number, is I got a bit of paper and a bit of sellotape and I've numbered them so that I could swatch them. Now, they've got one dual brush tip on the end and then they've got a fine liner, which I will never use. I will never use that end. Um, Oh, thank you, Joey. It's my pleasure. So, I really, yeah, I do. I do want to. Sorry, Lou, I'll have to read that back. Bear with me. Um, purple. Sam, I've got a recommendation. You said you're going to start sketching. Draw strong self-care for cartoonists, visual arts workers. I'll have to look back on the chat and write those down. Thank you so much. Um, these are really nice. Now, they're £25.99 or they were at £25 mark. And the brush tip on them are really yummy. So, like, you can go in thin or you could go in thick and go thin. If you wanted a brush letter, you could do brush lettering with these. Um, so, really nice colours, really juicy. And then the fine liner, if you wanted the fine liner in for any fine detail. They're really, really nice. And as I said, really inexpensive. You get 100 colours for £25.99. I only just got them, Lou. I did take them around to Mum's the other day. Um, and they're so inexpensive. And I thought for doing things like the colour by numbers, so you know that the Disney colour by numbers and stuff, if you want a break from all of that colouring and shading and you just want to put colour to paper and you want to do a quirkles even, get your quirkles, these are really good. So they come in these trays of 20. And I'll put the tips so you can see them. So you see all those colours? There you go. So these are the colours that you get in the set. So you've got all these, these here, the greens, the purples. You even get some metallic looking ones. So there's some lovely colours in these. Perfect for colour by numbers. Uh, no, they're water based, but they do bleed slightly through coffee paper. Look, they've got a slight bleed through coffee paper. But let me try you with a stick piece of card. So let's grab a piece of card, Sky. So if I go with a piece of card here. Um, so if you've got a, a card type, there's no bleed through at all. 
none. Um, but if you've got copy create space paper, unless they're, unless they're, you know, this is, I mean, the finished, that's not even like half book. Shall I try it? I don't mind trying it. So that is nothing. If we've got a test page on this fantasy design, hold on. Let's try it. They're very juicy, very juicy. Okay, so let's just go for like this one here. Um, and let's go for, because I'm not bothered about the front page. Let's go for just this colour here. Um, and I'm only going to just do this tiny little section to see. We'll test it out. But, you know, for the silly money that they cost, I'll put the link in the description after. Give me half an hour. For the silly money that they cost, who cares, you know? Okay, so it's very, very, very slight. I mean, you can barely see it. But it depends on the paper. So I wouldn't recommend them for a double-sided thin book. Um, but I would recommend them for a single-sided thin book because it doesn't matter. However, if you've got a colour by numbers and the paper's decent enough, like a Quirkles, it'd be all right. Um, but they're really juicy, and I think with the darker the colour, it might bleed through a little bit more, so, yeah, I haven't tried them yet, I've just literally swatched them, for thin paper, I wouldn't recommend them, they will go through, right, so the colours that you get in this are, oops, forget that, here, here, see they bleed through on this book, here, here, there's lots of lots of colours. I mean, they're great, really. I mean, for the money, they're super, super cheap. And there. So they've got a really nice... Yeah, Mum came today. Come today. So they've got a nice selection, but I wouldn't recommend them for single-sided, like, create space books, uh, double-sided create space books, because they're going to end up going through like mad. Um, so, yeah, that's a good question, Sky, because, no, I wouldn't recommend them for that. They do bleed slightly. They are water-based, but they're so pigmented. So pigmented. Maybe the pigment's too strong. But, yeah, you know, something that I probably would... I'd do on my Quirkles because they're single-sided. I wouldn't do them on the Disney ones. I wouldn't recommend them for the Disney colour by numbers. You're better off with your super tips for those. Okay. And then, oh, no, did you want the colours for the black hair? Oh, you want to know which book? What mum book? Fantastical Dragons mum ordered. It's come today. Um, right, Honor, Black Hair, you wanted, didn't you? Okay. So, Black Hair is Luminance 162 Five nine zero nine zero two and a polychromo black. I don't know if you want to screenshot that. If anyone wants to know of the hairs, I've written them down, so we can always reference them. Um, I haven't written this one down yet. We've got to go next. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, you want me to show? And then Mum ordered this one, which came today as well. Mum wants me to show it. Mum, I'm up and down like a yo-yo, you know. Ugh. Okay, so mum ordered this one here, which is another Creative Haven one. Um, this is not mine. It's not mine. This is mum's. Oh, my gosh, mum, I'm not getting up again. <laughs> up and down. Okay, Beth, you take care. I'm nearly done now anyway, guys. I'm almost done. I'm almost there. Okay, so mum ordered this one. Uh, this is another... Creative Haven, Fantastical Dragons, this one's called. And if there's any questions, please pop them in caps for me in a minute um, and I'll get to you. Okay, so this one is by Aaron Pocock, which I think does the fact, yeah, he does. It's the same illustrator as the fantasy designs. Um, so it's this, it's all full of dragons. So you've got lots of dragon uh, dragon signs in here because it's just based on them. I was wondering if there'll be anything dragon related and not just dragons like dragon eggs or something. But it just seems it's just full of just the dragons. Um, so if you're a fan, I like his illustrations. Yeah, they're really fun to do. 
See, it wouldn't matter if you put those markers, those jewel brush ones on these because they're single sided. That's a lovely one. But see, I'd really want to do all these effects here on his head. Um, so this is actually really nice, Mum. But I'm not getting it. I'm okay with a fancy one. Okay. So, yeah, it's really lovely, but just I don't think I've, I'm okay with my Bennett Klein dragons. Has anyone seen that one? So, it's Aaron Pocock's got nice designs. Nice designs. Um, yes, yes. Uh, Zini, yeah, I have. <laughs> Um, the Chinese dragon I've done. I've done the Chinese dragon and Mythomorphia. We need to get back to Mythomorphia. No, Mum, not the turtle. And Nana, don't threaten the turtle. <laughs> uh, Beth, no, not yet. <laughs> Those two, I don't like doing animals so much. Um, they're not my thing to do at all. I thought that was upside down then. Stop it. Stop it, you all. Stop it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Me and animal drawings. Unless it's like this, I don't mind. Oh, where are you working on that one? These are amazing. Do you know whose dragons I love? Anastasia. Um, drawing Queen. This isn't a drawing channel. It's a colouring channel. Hence the name. So... Sorry, I can't help in that department. Okay, this is a really nice one. So is that one. Yeah, I really like uh, Anastasia Ellie's. That's Anastasia Ellie at Calderiva. It's really, really good. Oh, <laughs> colour and pencils. Um, it depends on your budget, but I'd say Prisms and all Roundup, Polychromos are probably my favourite. Depends on your expense. But if there's any people that sketch, they might be able to help you there. She is Zeely. She's amazing. I just bought one of her ones off of her. Um, it was damaged. She was selling them a bit cheaper. The When Dragons Dream, I think it is. And they... It, she was selling them off half price, although the shipping was, yeah, the shipping was not. <laughs> but, you know, it was, yeah, it's just how it is. But she, sell, she sold them off um, a lot cheaper half price to what they were. Okay, take care. No, <laughs> no, I I really I really think you shouldn't, Lou. <laughs> and then the back has just got a coloured in image. Okay, so that one is Mum's. That was Mum. She ordered that. Um, okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for sticking this out with me. It was a bit all over the place because of the lighting. And we oh, this is going to muck it up, isn't it? Oh my god, here we go again. See, it's just going to blur it all out. Okay, so we kind of managed to do this even through all the storm of, let's see, let's see, let's see, Whee! we got it again, okay, through the storm of the madness that was the lighting, <laughs> um, I managed this, and this is our cow blonde, ash blonde, you will see the detail of the colour when I upload the video. Thank you so much for doing 